In this video, I will be teaching you guys moves, mechanics, and title of day 2 build for Greatsword. But before that, please subscribe. It will really help the channel. Fair, fair. What we will tackle for today are advanced moves for Greatsword, advanced mechanics for strong arm stands, title update to Greatsword build, and the sample run. Fair, fair. Our first move set is the shield roll. It has the fastest animation for you to unsheath your weapon. This can be chained to multiple moves. You can chain power sheet. You can chain two tackles and a TCS or true charge slash. You can chain one tackle to strong charge slash or true charge slash. Since we are doing power sheet, it would be best to provide more information about the switch skill. There are multiple reasons why you should always include power sheet in your hunts. Not only it gives you attack boost, it can be used to reposition, also it can be used to evade. If you're using PlayStation controller, you just need to press L2 and then circle. On Nintendo Switch, that would be Z, L, and A. Now I'm gonna discuss two types of strong arm counters. The first one is a strong arm stance to charge slash. With your weapon unsheathed, just press L2 plus triangle on PlayStation controller and ZL plus X on Switch. The second strong arm move is strong arm stance to TCS. Remember, for you to do this, you need to be in the animation of a charge slash. For PlayStation, press and hold triangle, then press L2, then press triangle. For Switch, press and hold X, press ZL, then press X. This is a sample video that you can use for both strong arm counters. Now, a lot of guys are asking me about the timing for strong arm counter using small barrel bomb and status toes. For small barrel bomb, immediately press L2 after the end animation of first charge without moving the left analog stick. Roughly 2 or 3 seconds after placing the bomb. For status toes, roughly 3 seconds to 4 seconds or you can time it on the third charge of the slash. Remember, practice until you get used to the timing. Going to the training area before using it on a hunt will save you time in failed quests. Also remember, if you time strong arm stance or strong arm counters correctly, you'll be able to get an attack boost and at the same time, if you're running offensive guard, that is an additional attack boost as well. Now for the build. This build showcase doesn't have any Kurio armor augmentations and charms. The reason for that, we want to create a build that is so flexible, you get to decide what would be comfortable to you at the same time, retaining the core skills needed for optimal greatsword sets. This set has 95% affinity on Enraged Monster. I'm using Scorn Magdamalo Greatsword for 3-2 decoration slot, level 2 rampage slot, 0% affinity, purple sharpness, and blast status. You can also use Kamura Greatsword for more purple hits. The set has Attack Boost 7, Agitator 5, Critical Boost 3, 
Weakness Exploit 3, Offensive Guard 3, Critical Eye 2, Maximum Might 2. Now, everything I provided on this video in addition to your monster knowledge movesets, game mechanic knowledge, will give you an unstoppable arsenal for more successful hunts. Also, thank you for 6 rm J9MH, and Angbata11 for helping me out on my first tutorial content. I am hoping you enjoyed and learned something. See you on the next video, guys.